the newest, coolest spot for TikTok's channel. <laughs> this is so pretty. Oh, this one's all sold out, but this is the only one that's gonna take up our outside furniture room. So it is April 6th. It is about 10 o'clock in the morning time. We've already hit the gym this morning and we were about to not do a vlog today. We were just gonna be chilling. House is a wreck today. But we ended up making an appointment to go see one of the houses. I don't, we've kind of gotten to see one of the houses in this neighborhood before, but we didn't really get to show you guys because it was like still under wraps. But hopefully we're going to be able to show you guys a couple cool things in there. It's a really cool neighborhood and there's some really cool houses. At first they were just selling them, but now they're doing something for rent. We might still buy a house. We might still get in a lease for us to rent out our other house that we buy. We're still not sure what we're doing. We have about 90 days to decide what the heck we're doing because we got to get out of this house. So we got to go make some moves. Let's go to breakfast first because I'm super hungry. We've already got Puka Bear all dressed. I'm all cute, looking good. Wait, we're going to breakfast second. We're going breakfast second? That's why I was trying to leave. I'm so hungry, dude. I was trying to go first. Steven was like, why are you trying to leave the house? Because I'm hungry. I didn't know if we'd make it. Oh, man. Now we're definitely not going to make it. Dude, I'm hungry. we got to stop for some sort of bites or something on the way there. We already did gym. I'm starving. i got to get something in me. So uh, let's pack up, I guess, a couple minutes early so we can get some food because we were on different pages figuring this out for the first time. Let's get going. we got to see this house, and i got to get some food. I'll see you guys in a bit. She said the house was a wreck. Let's see. Don't judge me. I have like OCD when it comes to cleaning. I've got my art project out. We got some towels and some blankets that we're folding. That's really the it. The house is a wreck, though. <laughs> Our room is a da disaster. We're still cleaning up from when now mom. Now it's a disaster. <laughs> from when mom and James are here, we got the other rooms to do, the laundry to do. Cleaning up the bathrooms. It's a mess. This is the dirtiest thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave me alone. I see, have you guys seen Taylor Frankie Paul's house? I used to think she was cute, and then I was like, I seen those videos of her house, and I was like, oh, no. Oh no. I can't imagine living in that for a day. This is a mess for me. So th thanks for calling me out. I'm gonna put my shades back on and go be embarrassed. Okay, so we just got to the neighborhood. This is called Aqua a Medallion Community. Aqua. That's the name of the thing. All right, so we're here. Looks like there's a gate. It looks like there's no manned gate. It looks like it's just a... They're really close to each other. Like an arm and a mechanical thing. Yeah. There are pretty close houses. They're building them up. Uh, there's a lot of buildup. There's some apartments over here. There's little water features. You can really see that they're just building up this whole spot over here. It's close to Sarasota. It's beautiful. Here's some of like the little houses. Well, they're not little. You can touch them. You can touch the house. Yeah, and definitely from neighbor to neighbor here. Let's show you. Like that's neighbor to neighbor right there. You could definitely like pee on your neighbor's house from your side. Uh, but yeah, they're really beautiful. I love the white. Oh, right here. This is it? Yeah. I love the exterior, the white exterior. I love the blue tinted windows or whatever, how they kind of do down in the Sarasota area. I don't know if it's like a weather type window, something that they have down here that they're using, but I think they're really pretty. There's plenty of palm trees. There's lots of new landscaping in. Uh, and I guess we're gonna check out some more. It's really, really beautiful in here. And there's something super cool about this neighborhood. I can't wait to show you guys. It's kind of like the selling point. So I'll show you guys in a bit. We're gonna get Luca out. He was kind of eating his snacks before we uh, left the house. We grabbed some Starbucks, so we're a little bit filled up, but we definitely left a big appetite. He's sleeping, so we're gonna pack him up, go in here, and see what we can record. Shh. <laughs> You like it? It's a little expensive for the space it is, but it's a brand new build, it's a brand new community. There's something really cool that we're gonna show you. So it definitely has a lot of incentive. And so there's still building. There's this. You can see this big open field here. There's a couple 
the houses over there that are still wrapped in the Tyvek or whatever you call it that's still half half made. Sorry, I'm still trying to eat my Starbucks. I guess here's all the driveways and the garages. That's like one big street for everybody to take their cars on. And then there's like parallel parking like this that, that none of the garages connect to. Ooh, is that one house? I wish we could check out a bigger one today. Here's like the bigger houses over on this side. Oh, these are some little ones. The guys got their hoodies on this morning working. They must have been here early because it is not chilly anymore. Uh, but yeah, the house is super cute. It's a little expensive for what size space that you get, but I guess since it's brand new and it's freaking beautiful that they're trying to, the economy sucks. So I can see what they're going for, but do they have a gym and stuff like that in here, babe? I don't know. If they have a the beautiful gym, then I would really, really consider it. Is this open? Can we go in it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I think we might be able to go in this. I don't know if you need like a pass or something. No. no? I might make a TikTok in here. I'll show you guys in a second. Be right back. Okay, so we just got to, oh, it's like the, looks like this is the mailbox section. This is the selling point. And this is the selling point. This is an in, this is like an outdoor pool, but it's a pool. It's like a lagoon. They made this. This is man-made. This is super freaking cool. Come on, let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, it is so freaking cool, dude. You can take, I think they said you can take like SUP boards and stuff like that. They've got it like marked off for kids for swimming. And I think like out here, you can bring like SUP boards and like canoes and paddle boards and stuff like that. Ooh, I'm about to get the go off the road. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so big. It's so pretty. I guess this is the newest, coolest spot for TikToks. Check this out. This is so pretty. Okay, so the houses are a little bit small, but like I feel like this whole place is getting ready to build up. And they do have bigger models for sale, but this one's for rent. We're not sure what we're gonna do yet, so we were just kind of checking this out, but this pool. It's so worth it. I want to. I want to come here. I want to come here. This is so nice. You'd be here every day. Oh my gosh, I would be here every day. I would buy like an SCP board if they said we can have them in here. I would buy like a a glass boat, like uh, those canoes. I would buy like the clear bottom ones. There's nothing to look at. Oh my God, I don't care. It's only for fish. I don't care. I'd be making the coolest videos in here. I'd have people swimming underneath of it, be making TikToks and shit. It'd be the coolest. I can't wait. I want to come here. Morning. All right, parking Luca in the shade, but check this out. I think this is like, that's like their vacuum or something. I was wondering what was gonna clean this. They've got like people in here dumping uh, all like the, all the chemicals and whatnot. And they've got this huge ass vacuum sweeper thing in there too. I bet you it takes like a whole tribe of people to work on this thing. Cause this pool is huge. This would be your daily walk spot? Oh my gosh, this would be my daily swim spot, walk spot. We would literally be out here all day, every day. Like, you'd never catch me in my house. I'd be out here. As we were coming through, we were kind of checking out the walkway, and I love glitter. Glitter on floors, I love glitter everywhere. There's glass in, like, the walkway, which is super cool. Kind of looks like shimmery glitter as we walk by, and the more that we looked at it, there's actually puka shells in the walkway. Check this out. At least that's what I think they are. Those are the ones that go on the puka necklaces, right? I don't know what you're talking about. Is it a sign? I think it's a sign. Little puka shells in the walkway, we gotta come. Okay guys, leave in the comment section below your thoughts on whether we should give up our waterfront place where everybody's got boats, you look out from behind the pool and you get to see the water, or we have a tiny pool in this one that's kind of enclosed by the house. You really don't get that like open look throughout those back doors, but we get this. So throw in the comment section what you're feeling because that house was beautiful did you get some snaps in there I got a video oh my it. god it's really beautiful in there we could definitely do a lot of good work but it's a little bit more expensive and it's kind of like if we want to be real with you guys it's kind of at a bad timing that we need to get out of this house because we took like a month off before Luca was born and then a good eight weeks afterwards for me to heal and whatnot so 
our fans and our stuff like that hasn't been doing that great in the past like 90 days so it's like should we stretch and go for it if it was like a great month six months ago we would be like let's freaking do it but right now it's kind of been at the tough spot of Luca was out we weren't working so now it's like do we make a big jump and do something a little bit above our price range now or do we like cut it back so we're tossing around a th couple of things we got to get back to work or did you want to get up closer to it yeah we're getting ready to leave and it looks like they've already put up umbrellas on the other side and like the sandy spot for some cabanas to be made and then there's this sandy spot over here there's, like a whole concrete thing looks like they're doing some work over here but yeah there's like a whole sandy spot so you can bring up your chairs and do like volleyball and like beach stuff activities while also still being in the pool with like no sharks about to eat you that i love they made a walkway oh nice he said, there's too many family and kids over here in my pink outfit. I don't want to slut it out. You want to do a TikTok? No. No, they're all going to be watching me. All the little boys are already looking at me dressed in my cute pink anyway in my pigtails. So let's get out of here. Well, this one's all sold out, but this is like, this is the big one, but it's only two bedrooms. So like, it really wouldn't make sense to buy in here because we wouldn't have a guest room, but... This is definitely, they said this has got the biggest pool area, which sucks because it's only two bedroom with the biggest pool outside area by like 10 feet or something. This is the only one that's going to take up our outside furniture and we like to do outside, like outside living and stuff like that. This is even a really small pool, but it sucks you can't get this outside space on a three bedroom. It's kind of weird. They have their configurations and that's what they do. So they kind of don't make really sense for us, but... the biggest one they have this is a two-story oh I remember doing this go upstairs that's like the guest room and the one right above us is the master and then you kind of look down in the pool area which is really cool let's go check it out this one got an elevator don't it so you think we can take the elevator upstairs and take Puka up there I love this little area right here Put all like the crystals and wine and alcohol and stuff like that, the drink tables. Like this, the dining room, it's still pushed back, so it's a walkway. No, we didn't look at this one, actually. I feel like we definitely did. No, I had taller ceilings. This is really pretty. All right, how do we get upstairs? You wanna go? Now we've made our way down the line of this is the seascape, sea grape, something like that. This is like probably the one that we would look into getting. So let's take a look around. Oh, that's beautiful. This is beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful. Little Luca's room. I love how they're like building these in nowadays. That you can still vacuum and keep the floor and yeah, everything clean. Yeah, this is clean. just the office. And it's everything's raised up off of the floor. I really like that. It has a closet in here. But then look at this kitchen. And look at this. What is this? Like twenty foot something ceilings? Thirty, I think she said. I like this kitchen. I've been making all my TikToks right here on the counter. I'd just be climbing up here. This is my new TikTok area right here on the countertop. And so this is the place that we came a week ago, but we ended up coming on the weekend and that's when most of the girls aren't working. It's like a family type place here. So all the women, all the women that want to see Puka, they all get off on the weekend. So it's what? Wednesday, Thursday, so they should all be in here. This is the place where we gave our favorite waitress away to the baby Breeza thing. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna take them in here. They've got the best cookies. We checked out the house. Time for lunch. Let's get in here. We brought this guy to see you. We actually just woke up too. Oh my goodness gracious. How are you, sweet boy? We've been waiting for you. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you look just like your daddy. Oh my goodness. He cracked a smile for you. What? Hi. I'm coming. We'll bring him in. You can get yes, all your yes. snuggles. We'll unbuckle him. You want to come give him some love and kisses? Oh my gosh. He looks like you. 
just like me. Dude, does everyone say that? Yes, all the time. <laughs> yeah. He has oh, her. He's like a little mini you. I'm like, oh my god. He has her eyelashes. Though. He looks just like he's got my eyelashes. Okay, that's all we got. Put him down, right? Goodbye. You have to, you have to keep coming back. Oh yeah, we'll be here all the time now. Right? He's so cute. He's so big. He's gonna be so big now. I see his face. He's a puka. He's about to kick on me. He's so big. Come here. Minnie's mine. I told you I'm taking it. It's mine. He's just peeking out the restaurant. Okay, so Grandma just sent in these cute little... They're so loud, but they're super colorful, and I think he loves them. Also, face breaking out. Go us. But Grandma also sent these in... I don't know what they are. They're like bar nets. I don't know what that is, but Wait, what are the stickers on your face? They're pimple stickers. Oh. They have like aloe and whatnot in them. So instead of them getting like all crunchy and drying out, they like moisturize them from the inside and they also kind of like pull the yucky stuff out. So I kind of like them. They're only like $12 on Amazon. You get like a whole like five pack of them with like hundreds of stickers on them. Totally not sponsored. Like, they're legit, so. You're never sponsored. I know, right? You can't, like, go on my Amazon store and, like, buy stuff for me to, like, get a kickback. Like, I literally don't care. You guys, if I'm telling you about it, it's good, and it's also under $30. So head there. The little acne stickers, you can get them in a bunch of colors. But, yeah, they all have, like, aloe. They make them nice and soft. But, anyway, so Grandma got these uh, Oreos, and they're a bunch of different candy, peanuts, sunflower seeds, Chocolate sprinkles. I don't I know. I guess the one you would try first would be. Which one? The one you would try first? Yeah. This one or this one? That's definitely my top two. Why this one? Because it's cho double chocolate. How do it you looks know that? Ugly. Okay, I absolutely hate. It's so super appreciative that we got chocolates, but I absolutely hate when you get chocolate boxes and they don't tell you what's in the thing. So it's just like life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. No, I like the box of chocolates that tells you what you're gonna get. So I don't know. We're gonna have to cut each one of these in half. It looks like we're having. Just I'm I'm trying to have a diet going on. Thanks, you Grandma. Try one. Thanks, Grandma. She knows I'm trying to have a diet going on, and she sent us some delicious ones. But these are definitely my top two, and the sunflower seeds look delicious, but also I like the rainbowy things. What is this? This looks like a caramel something over here. He's definitely going to like that one, and he's probably going to like this one. I don't know what that is, but it looks like brown butter scotch caramelly stuff. He's probably going to like this one, too. We're going to cut them in half in no, four. No, you better pick one out and 12. try it right now. We're eating 12 Oreos. Okay. No cut scenes. All right then, no cut scenes. Sunflower seeds. I like chocolate and salty. Let me see the mm. inside. Is it double stuffed or what? No, they're regular stuff. The sunflower seeds are a little stale. <laughs> I feel like they're all gonna be stale, but they were wrapped also, up. Also, I feel like these aren't actual Oreos. They're fake? They're like, like Choreos or something. Choreos? Why do you have to use his name like that? <laughs> this one's too close to my mouth. I feel like it's about to pop off, especially with all the food. These are definitely not Oreos. They're definitely like <laughs> Choreos or something. It's throwing me all off. They're not Oreos. So they're not good? But this one's decent. Alright, well, thanks, Mom. They were cute. I can't, I can't waste my calories on this, so I probably have like another bite or two. I have another one, but I can't waste my calories on this. He likes his toys. Yeah, you like your grandma gift? Overstimulation right now. No. Yeah, it's a little overstimulation. We're going to have to take some out. Yeah, right. All right, we'll catch you in a minute.